Hi everyone, welcome to the top percentile channel. My name is Harsh Shah. I secured a 99.99 percentile in CT 2020 and an All India Rank 4. Well, in today's video, I am going to go over five common mistakes that you have to definitely avoid in the con section of MBA CT. So without any further ado, let's quickly dive into it. I've made a note of all the five uh, most repeated mistakes that I had committed or even my friends at the top person that I had committed. And constantly we are also noticing these issues with our students. So we thought of making a video and trying to make the entire CET giving audience aware that these sub these avoid karo because this is these are very silly mistakes. Okay. Or I don't know why, but because of these mistakes, tumhare marks ja rahe hai. So once you are aware about these, then we will try and improve on these mistakes or commit. That is what we're going to try and achieve. <clears throat> so mistake number one is going to be misinterpreting or misreading the data. So is and I'll give you an example. A lot of time, which question up with the let's say mixture ka question hai, or is my bola ke mixture one may A and B are in the ratio of C is to D. Okay. Or mixture two may the hai ke B and A are in the ratio X is to Y. So is pe kya hua? Okay. First mixture mein it was A is to B, but in the second mixture, it's B is to A. Now what happens? Hum apni gai mein hote hai. And we just uh, misread the data, we misinterpret it, or we will take A is to B ke format mein le lenge, and we'll equate it C is to D equals X is to Y. And what is the answer? The answer is wrong because we data interpret wrong. Ki hai. That is one important thing. Whenever you are reading a question, try to be conscious, try to be in the moment, and be calm when you are reading it. Be aware about such things that can really happen. The advice over here is that whenever you give a mock or you have a mistake, commit ki hai, just make a note of it. There are different cases. There can be n number of such cases. You identify those cases and then from the next time onwards, you are going to be aware about that. Or humbo mistakes repeat. Now, mistake number two is going to be copying down the wrong data. Ye mistake has troubled me a lot because so many times on the on my screen I'm seeing that <clears throat> ABC equals 175. Or my copy ABC equals 157. Again, this is going to simply make my calculations much difficult because see, honestly, if ABC is given as 175, I can notice that it's divisible by 25. Somewhere in the question, mujhe hoga. Kidder na kidder to 25 se divide karna aise kuch na kuch rehta hai CET mein ke those numbers are easily divisible. But now because I've written 157 when I divide it by 25 mujhe decimal mein answer a gaya. Decimal mein answer a gaya where I'm just frustrated ke kya karu is decimal ka. And of course the answer is going to be wrong. The final answer jo bhi mein dhoon dunga because mein hai question hi malab mein hai data hi gharat lagi hai. So again, try to be calm and just be very conscious when you're copying down data from the screen to your paper. The third thing is going to be calculation mistakes. So again, like each and every video that I've made, calculations are going to be extremely important and you have to avoid doing calculation mistakes. So, you know, agar se hota hai ki hum plus minus 10 ya, aise kuch kar lete. a lot of times it happens that suppose the number, the answer I'm getting is 10 or suppose the answer that I'm getting is 10 lakh. Uske baale mein one lakh mark kar do because ek extra jo zero hota hai, wo mein dekhta nahi hoon. Ya calculate karne mein aise wrong ho jata hai. So ye sab chizhe you have to be aware about all these things or you have to try and improve and stop doing such silly mistakes. Basic number four is going to be marking or finding the wrong answer. Okay. So yaha pe there's a classic example that in the question of uh, let's say time, speed and distance, you are given that uh, <clears throat> something, something is given and you have to find the speed of B. Okay. But when you start filling the question, aapko pehle, by the design of that question, aapko pehle, A ka speed mil jata. you find the speed for A first before finding the speed for B and using A ka speed, you have to find B. But now we are so impatient that we see A ka speed and that is given in the options. So we just go directly and mark that as the answer. And again, aap marks lose karonge for that. So our idea is that we have to find the answer for the question that is being asked and not for anything else. So whenever you're solving something, please read the main question very, very, very carefully. Okay. And finally, 
fifth and the most 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 important mistake is going to be that you are selecting the wrong questions you are selecting the questions to solve which are out of your comfort zone you are selecting inherently difficult questions or you are trying to attempt something out of ego during the day of your mock or during the day of your final exam this will be detrimental trust me baki sab mistakes to will cost you maybe just one or two marks but if you are in the habit of selecting the wrong questions then it might cost you the entire paper and it might also cost you a reattempt towards mba cv so my only vinanti jo bolte hai my only <clears throat> prayer to you guys is that please practice question selection a lot you have to be aware about what topics you are comfortable with what topics fall into your easy and medium categories and only solve those topics first and avoid the difficult ones so yes these were the five most common mistakes that we have found this year also we were finding them last year also and these are the mistakes that even we had made ourselves at the top percentile while we were preparing for mba cet i really hope that you guys start working on these mistakes and never ever repeat them again till the time you are giving any competitive exam all right so yes with that we'll close the session today and if you have any other question of course you know how to reach out to us you can drop in a comment and we'll try to respond to it as quickly as possible but till the next video till the time i see you all again keep hustling and keep working hard and we'll see you soon bye take care